What's up everyone, I'm Demon Cringe, and uh, today I got some pretty peculiar news for you guys and gals. So, for some mysterious reason, it looks like uh, GTA 4 is uh, no longer for sale on Steam. Yes, everyone. Uh, so, there really isn't any explanation as to why Rockstar did this, and uh, if they will comment on why they did it, I really don't know. Probably not, but yeah, um, this article comes from GamesRadar.com, and yeah, um, with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? So, it says GTA 4 has been pulled from the Steam store, at the time of writing, there's been no official word from uh, developer Rockstar or Valve on uh, why the games disappeared from the storefront, but if you head to the uh, GTA 4 Steam page, you'll notice that the option to buy the uh, open world shooter has been surreptitiously removed. As our pals at PC Game rightfully remind us, GTA Vice City uh, vanished in a similar way uh, from the marketplace back in 2012. The withdrawal was due to a licensing issue with Michael Jackson's uh, wannabe starting something song, but nowadays uh, we tend to see songs uh, patched out when licenses expire. Rather than the decadently more drastic act of having a game yanked from the sale completely. It's possible that the game is made unavailable as it previously connected to games for Windows Live or it could have been something to do with the Rockstar's game launcher perhaps, a launch back in September 2019. It offers some but not all of Rockstar's games in a single place, uh, no matter where you bought them. Early adopters were even encouraged to get involved with a free digital copy of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas just for downloading. So over here we have uh, two possible explanations. Obviously we all know that uh, Games for Windows Live was uh, absolute trash and it sucked monkey ass, so uh, if that is the case, uh, then I guess Rockstar is patching the, uh, patching the uh, horrendous garbage out of the game and will be putting it back on the store. As for the Rockstar game launcher, um, honestly haven't heard anything about that, and all in all for GTA 4, I really uh, don't care if the game actually goes back on the store or not, because uh, frankly, I played the game and honestly out of all of the uh, 3D GTA games, it's uh, pretty much uh, pretty much the weakest out of it, uh, in my opinion, to be totally honest. Over here it also says, panic not if you've already purchased it, of course it will still be in your library if and when you fancy it, so that's cool, you know, uh, it is uh, has been taken off, uh, you know, from the store from purchase, but it will, you know, be in uh, the uh, Steam cloud service and all that. In related news, if you found yourself uh, longing for a sunset drive along the uh, coast of the GTA world, you're in luck, as a new mod for GTA 5 lets you hang out in a uh, Vice City again. As Alyssa recently, recently explained, the nostalgia is real and it's neon. Vice City Remastered is a port of Vice City, a popular mod for GTA uh, Vice City that overhauled the game's graphics back in 2015. Uh, it looked like a fresh update as titled version 1.0 dropped on December 20th of 2019. A month or so after the official trailer launch, Vice City Remastered runs as a DLC uh, with new models and textures working traffic lights. Uh, custom population groups, car generators, better uh, water mechanics, and 3D neon models, amongst other things. So with all that said and done, let's actually go to the uh, Steam store page of GTA 4 right here. And uh, as you can see, there is no option to buy the game. And uh, if we scroll down, scroll down to the bottom, as you can see uh, over here, some reviews. The game is no longer available for purchase and all that stuff. Uh, people are speaking up about it and all that. I'm sure there's a lot more in the... Uh, in the discussions tab right here, but uh, yeah, you can go check those out for yourself. Quite a bit of peculiar news, like I said. Uh, it is a little bit cryptic, uh, no one knows why they did it. There are some speculations as to why they uh, may have done this, uh, you know, like uh, with the uh, Games for Windows Live thing, or with the Rockstar launcher. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon, and if you wish to support me, if you want to, link is in the description below. And as always, I'm Demon Cringe, I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.